Hi, this is Tim O'Neill from Digital Art Academy and Digital Paint Magazine. I want to give you a really quick, short video tutorial on how to create a signature brush. You can use a signature brush um, at the end of your, or at the end, to put on your paintings, or you can use it uh, to create a watermark if you're going to put some images on the web and so forth. So, let's get started here. Let's crack open Photoshop, first of all. And, okay, we can close that. Um, put together a new canvas. I'm just using a 4x5 at 300. So there you go. Bl brand new white canvas. And uh, what I'm going to do here is show you how to use or use type to do it first. So as you can see, I went up and grabbed the type tool, T for type, and right now this looks like it's going to be typing down. I don't really want that, so I'm going to come up over here and uh, click the icon, and you'll see that it changes it, and now it's going to go horizontally. I have already chosen my type style or the type font that I want, and this one is a, a special type that I have that I use quite a bit for our studio, and so I'm going to type copyright... Tim O'Neill Studio, hit enter, and now <clears throat> I'm going to hit control T and just move this on over here so I can center it again. Control T brings up the box here and it lets me change things around. So, enter and it accepts that. And now what I'm going to do is go up and grab a selection. So I'm going to do this kind of the old school way here. Select, color range, I'm just going to click on the white. And it grabbed everything. So um, I'm going to invert that selection. I can come up here to select inverse or I can hit shift control I and it will do the same thing. Now you can see that I have the marching ants around the image that I want to use for a brush. Now you can use this with type, you could actually sign your name um, and it's all done the same way. So next thing I'm going to do, come up to edit and you don't see it in here so that means I'm going to have to click on show all menu items and now it's there. Click on define brush preset I'm going to just name it Tim2, click OK, and there you have it. You can see that the brush is actually the whole outline of what I had before. So, what I'm going to do, actually get rid of this selection, I'll show you how this works. Come over here, uh, right now it won't show up because it's black, or excuse me, white on white. So I'll just grab it, and all I do is one time click. And there it is, not click, but point. Touching the stylus one time to the pad. And it, it is gray because I have my opacity at 27%. There's 100%. So very simple, easy to do, and uh, now you can use this thing for all kinds of different stuff. If you want to uh, use it for, this is how you would use it for a brush, uh, or excuse me, to you know sign your, or put on the end of your images. If you wanted to use it for, let's pull up an image here. If you want to use it for a watermark, all you have to do is grab your image. You've got the brush. Okay, you still have the brush there. Right now it's in black, so you don't really want black. We'll just go grab a We'll grab a color here. Actually, here, let's do it this way. Let's cancel that. I All I'm doing is pushing on the Alt key. I'm going to steal a color from in here. Uh, maybe this right here would work. So push the Alt key, select your color, let go, and I'm going to touch it one time. There it is. Actually, get rid of it. I'm going to put this on a new layer. There we go. All right, da da. There it is. Now, if you just want to use that as a watermark and not quite, um, you know, not quite so bright, all you have to do is a couple different things. One, you can bring down the opacity 
obviously one way to do it and have it still be in there you could bring down the fill another way to do it or here's a really cool effect the bevel emboss doesn't matter which just grab you know whatever I think I'm going to use pillow emboss there you have it click OK and now you can come in and turn the fill down and you just have kind of an outline there so there you have it that is how you can make a brush out of type or your signature have a good day